Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by today. Today's beer comes from Carton Brewing. This is their Epitome. And it is a Imperial Black IPA. This thing comes in at a whopping 10.3%. And uh, says it's got 100 IBUs. So this is a big boy's beer. Put your big boy britches on if you're going to drink this. All my britches are big boy because I'm a big boy. Have been for a long, long time. So, uh, uh, they've uh, gone to a little type of, little different kind of graphic here. Their cans used to be orange, and, and that area still got a little bit of the orange left on here. But they've, uh, they've upped the game a little bit on their graphics on their cans now. They're, they're spending a little bit more money on the, on, on, the, on the packaging now. And I hope what's inside the package doesn't suffer for that. But I guess that, uh, they're doing so good and making so many wonderful beers, uh, they can afford to uh, up it up a little bit. Um, and they're giving us what we need. The ABV is here, the IBUs is here, and it says it was canned on 11 22 of 2016. So uh, we've got all three bits of information. These guys at Carton Brewery know what information that we're looking for, and they are doing it, and they are doing it well. Uh, I don't think I've had a bad beer from these guys. Rico sent me this, so uh, thanks again, my brother, for, for sending this to me. Uh, looking forward to this one. Uh, he writes, uh, picked up a four-pack at the beer store last month for $17.99. So big beer. A little bit more on the pricey side. Uh, this is a great big 16 ounce can and it's 10.3 percent so you're gonna pay a little bit more for that. Uh, and in my experience a lot of times those beers are, are worth it uh, from different breweries and sometimes they're not. I got a feeling this one is gonna be worth it. So uh, and people say I wouldn't pay $18 for a four pack of 16 ounces. Think about that. You go to a bar, they're going to charge you $5 for a pint of Budweiser. And you think $4 is too much to pay for a 10.3 percenter? Think about it. Get your head on right. Get your head right, Luke, is what the movie said. Uh, i got a feeling this is going to be a damn tasty beer. Like I said, these guys don't do anything bad. So, and uh, it says here, it says canned on 11 22 10.3 American Black. Uh, Ale, Black IPA with 100 IBUs, I read you all of that, so uh, and it's got a big long commercial description, which I'm not going to read to you guys, I don't want this to be a 20 minute video, uh, the guys, just take my word for it, the guys at Carton Brewing know how to make good beer, and they do it very well, and they put all the information on the package that we need to have, so, with that being said, let me uh, get this thing popped open. And since it is considered a black IPA, and that's not a recognized beer style uh, from the beer judging categories, there are no food pairings. But it's going to go well with all your standard IPA or double IPA food pairings. Stronger cheeses, stronger dishes. Looks a lot like cola coming out of the glass. Glass for the pint backer, non October mug, size, side, side L, oversized wine glass. I've got my favorite tool of glass today, guys. And it says here, not recommended for extended salary code. It's a 10.3% hoppy black IPA. You don't want to, even though it's a 10.3% of alcohol is going to let this beer keep, but it will turn tremendously more malty as time goes on. 
All right, guys, about a half a finger of head on that pour. Over to the light, I've got some red rubiness coming through there, so it's not pitch black. It's a little darker through the bulb part here, but I am getting some red light around the thin part of the glass. So let's put the nose to it. Wonderful hop around. If I was blindfolded, I would say this is an IPA. There is some roastiness to there, but it's not big, chocolatey, or molasses, or any of that kind of stuff. Nice citrusy. Hints of some grapefruit and pineapple. And maybe a touch of pine in there. Smells pretty good, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Big time. Big time hot presence in this. Smells good. A little more roastiness in the taste than I was getting on the nose. Black patent malt or, or almost to the burnt characteristics of the malt on this. That's pretty tasty. The alcohol is very well hidden for a 10.3%. This one will get you in trouble if you're not careful. That is very easy drinking for a beer this big. Wow. A nice balance to the hops and the malt on this one too. Very impressed with what these guys at Carton Brewing are doing. Very, very nice. And they're giving us the information that we want to have. ABV, IBUs, and a canned on date. Very well done. All right, let me take it back and let her have a little bit of it. And we'll come back and do the final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left here. Uh, excellent beer. This is, an, uh, this is an outstanding beer, guys. I uh, don't think it's quite to the 10 category, but it's pretty close. Uh, very, very well made. I do think it's an A beer for sure. Uh, the alcohol, what impresses me is the alcohol is so well hidden on this beer being a 10.3 percenter. It is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, nice roasted caramel molasses uh, taste. Uh, I would think they probably use some black patent malt in there. I may be mistaken, but uh, it's got that nice uh, dark flavor uh, now that it's warmed up to the room temperature, the hops are there. It's got, I mean, it's not a West Coast style by any means, uh, but it does have a very nice hop presence. Uh, citrusy, hints of uh, uh, pineapple and grapefruit in there, and a little bit of pine. Very nice, very well done. So let's jump in here and uh, do the final chug. A wonderful aroma. Like I said, it's not West Coast style by any means. It's not that super up in your face, slapping you one side to the other, all that. But it is very well done. Excellent job. So with all the information on the can that we got, date, ABV, IBUs, and the alcohol at 10.3%, super well hidden, excellent job. Guys, uh, 9 out of 10 for me on this one. Uh, numeric rating on this one would probably be a 97. Uh, pretty damn tasty. Pretty damn tasty. Awesome. Excellent job, guys, at Carton. Two thumbs up, as a matter of fact. I like the information you're putting on the cans, and I like what you're doing with the contents inside the cans. So, big fan of Carton Brewing. I really am. I wish I could get them here. Rico, once again, thanks to my brother for sending it to me. Uh, we'll run over to Beer Advocate. They say 97 overall, 95 in the style. Uh, I, I mean, right beer. And Beer Advocate says 93. I think it's a little better than a 93. They're called 93, which is their outstanding range. Um, and for our final check in, we'll run them to Untapped. And Untapped has it at 4.12, which is uh, it's in their A category. So 
never seen uh, five bottle caps on, on, on untapped, so I uh, never have. I just never have. I don't know. There may be one out there, but I haven't seen it. So uh, anytime you get into the fours or, or a little bit better from them, you're doing pretty good. So Very tasty beer. I enjoyed it. Uh, if you had it, let me know what you think. This is the Carton Brewing Epitome, which is a... Uh, Black IPA, Imperial, or Double Black IPA, yeah, whatever, it's not a recognized style. The Black IPA is, whether it's regular or double Imperial, it's not a recognized style. So, uh, maybe one day it will be. I've been saying that for five years and it hasn't happened yet, so I don't know what the hell that they're waiting on. So, if you haven't, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of that bridge. See everybody then.